What's up, AK family? We have been away for about a week. Yeah. Since our last post. Um, but we said in that video that we would get out to you a review on the Carnival Valor. Mm -hmm. So that is what we're going to do today. We're just going to give you the pros and cons, the ups and downs of our experience on the Valor. We're going to talk about a variety of things from the food to the activity to how the ship was, the upkeep, everything. So I will have um, timestamps in the description if you want to skip through, but let's get started. All right, first. First, sailing from New Orleans. Sailing from New Orleans. It's good, um, especially if you're in a uh, driving distance. It's not a big port, either right. small. When it comes to parking, I've had a lot of people ask me if we park at the port. We never, if we drive and park our car, we never park at the right. port. It's just ridiculously expensive. I always look for a parking company that's in the area where you can park your car at their facility and then they will shuttle you to the port. Right. So I'll put in the description box who we went with this time, which I've gone on one other cruise out of New Orleans and I used that parking place then as well. So I already knew they were good. It was fine. The people that worked at the port and how long it took us to get on the ship. Okay, so first, how long it took us to get on the ship. Yes. It wasn't it wasn't a long time. It was no. like 25, 30, 20, 20, 20 minutes, minutes max. 20 yeah. minutes max. But the people, they had had enough that day. Let me tell you something. Though, they were so rude. It was they were so rude. They were mad. They were rude. They were rude. Like it was like nothing we've ever snapping yet. Like it, it was, was crazy. Rude. It, it was, was bad. awful. But the first time I went out of New Orleans, that was not my experience. So I can't say that that's just how the port of New Orleans is. But there were multiple rude people when we were getting. Right on the ship but anyway so that's it for the port and let's talk about the ship so i think the ship was built in 2004 and what do you think of like the ship as a whole like the upkeep the cleanliness i think i think they kept it up pretty good because what, what was that ship that we we intersected the splendor no no oh no, the no. victory in cozumel in Co no 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 the one where we're in Puerto Rico, left from Puerto Rico with us? The carnival? The fascination. That ship look old. It is old. It was built in 1994. Oh, okay. Oh, dang. You could tell that it was an older ship, but it still was clean yeah. uh, and well taken care of. Mm -hmm. Cleanliness was good, as I said. Yeah, people were always... I saw people cleaning all the time. Right. Our cruising was super packed. Do you think so? I think the ship was at maximum capacity, I feel like. See, I don't think it was super packed. The only time where I felt like the ship was just like, wow, there's a lot of people on the ship, is when we were on the Lido and it was a sea day. And you know, everybody likes to hang out on the Lido by the pool and the sun. That was the only time That's that I felt like the ship was packed. Like during dining, it was super packed. It was super packed in dining. I didn't think it was bad. Oh man, I don't know. Maybe it's her her experience versus mine. But I thought it was I thought it was very packed. And when I say crowded, I just said it was just just a lot of people. a lot of people. It's not crowded as in okay, I can't I can't freaking hear myself think. It's it's not like that crowded, but yeah. it was just a lot of people. I want to say this really quickly about the Serenity though. I didn't like the layout of the Serenity. Yeah, it was trash. Um, on this ship. Why is everything trash? I feel like that's going to be my new word. It's not. No, it's not, honey. The Serenity was not a good layout, like it I said. It was a good layout. It was an upstairs and downstairs, it a one-sided entrance. It was just a strange, like, on the second level, there were just clamshells, and then there was, oh, yeah, only one way right. that you could get in. It, it was a weird layout. Right. It's not to say that we didn't go and relax yeah, we in went there and relax, land a clamshell. The layout was just We were just weird. not accustomed to the layout that Valor has for Serenity. Yeah, but I mean, different ships have different layouts, but we just didn't particularly like the layout right. on the Valor. Food. Food, our favorite topic. So, the buffet. 
the buffet. Honestly, I feel like the options could have been better. You think so? I really feel like the options could have been better. Um, I was just not blown away okay. with the options. That's such a stupid were you, expression. Were you blown away on the Splendor and on the Vista? I feel like it was better options on the Vista. Okay. But this, the Valor, uh, not to say, you know, they didn't have some good dishes, but I just feel like everything was pork or ham, uh, ham, hog, and, okay. you know, pork chop. I just wish they had more variety. The food on the Valor for me in the buffet, it was good, but I do understand. It was good. It, everything right. that we had it tasted nasty. good. Yeah. I just wanted more variety. More variety. I understand what you're saying by that. And the desserts were the, you know, like the cakes. The cakes that they have. Now, let me tell you about the desserts. The desserts were good. I thought the desserts were very good. The desserts were. I enjoyed the desserts. I enjoyed the desserts on the Vista And the better. fruit was really, really good. I the fruit was very ripe. It was good. Very sweet. Uh, guys burgers and blue iguana. I mean, I feel like it's the same on every ship. I mean, we've only been on two right. ships that. Well, I've been on three that have it, but this is the thing. Bomb. Dot com. You already know. Like for me, I'm not really a guys burgers. I think it's good, but I don't. I don't eat a whole bunch of beef. I think it would be better. If they had a turkey burger option. Or a turkey burger and a veggie. A veggie. Option. I think I yeah. think I think it would be good if they had more options. Blue iguana, we love blue iguana. I love like I Rest wish they had man. restaurants like on land of blue iguana. Listen, the breakfast burritos, I'm telling you, just try it one that day. Chicken sausage. Sauce. Yeah. It's really good. Very, very good. Um, and then there's also the seafood shack, which is in the back of the ship by the pizza. Mm -hmm. That you do have to pay for. So we've never oh, tried okay. that. Yeah, and to. we don't really want the seafood like that. Like we don't eat lobster. We don't eat shrimp. Blah, 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 blah whatever. And the pizza was great. I love carnival pizza. Did you go to the deli? In the deli. We never went to the deli. Okay. What about the dining room? Like the experience in the dining room? I had a good time in the dining room. Yeah. We are, I think we had, I think when you go with more people, I, me and Kyra always have a good time. Mm -hmm. But when you go with more people, yeah. you have more fun. And yeah. It's more like when you go with family, you have more fun and all that stuff. Yeah. So it's so funny because when I was younger, I was telling Kyra when I was younger, I hated going to the dining. I hated doing dining hours when I was younger. And I we, loved it. We were on cruises and I used to get in trouble because I never wanted to go. But now I actually enjoy the, yeah. the dining Yeah, and experience. when I was younger, it used to just be me, my mom, and my dad. And my brother and sister would not go. And it would just be the three of us in the dining room. Because I loved going to the dining room. Mm -hmm. But it was a good experience. The food was good. The food came out quick. That's mm -hmm. another thing, too. Going to the dining room, like, sometimes you'll be in there for, like, an hour and a half to two hours like ain't nobody got time for that okay but i really enjoyed it i wish we could eat in the dining room more and i always say that but then when we're actually on the ship i'm like let's just go to the buffet right, like, right. <laughs> right. but it was a lot of fun the room so i thought our room was big we had a bigger we had an interior room but it was bigger than a typical interior room it was clean it didn't really show signs of wear, wear and tear. Yeah, yeah. yeah but where we were, because we were steps from the elevators, right. it was loud. Right, at night time. At so night time, one, two o'clock in the morning when people coming from the clubs and coming yeah. from drinking and partying and all that stuff, they, you know. People people running down the hallways, people on the opposite side Babies of the crying. wall. Yeah. It was loud. I, I wouldn't particularly recommend getting a room right next to the elevator. You might think that that's nice because you can walk out of your room and walk onto the elevator. But if you want but, quiet and relaxation, yeah. if you're going to be in your room and you want quiet, then don't go to the elevator. Yeah, I said you know, maybe. Try and stay away from the elevator. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Cruise director, TJ. The cruise director, was how cool. was he? He was cool. Um, yeah. I like the Scott, the Scott, uh, the, what's it? The Flying Scotsman. The Flying Scott, on that was Vista. on the Vista. I appreciated it. He him. was phenomenal. I he, he was one of the best that, I, that I've had. On he, the was. he was, he um, was. But I really enjoyed TJ. I really enjoyed him. He was a lot of fun. He was good at getting people excited. He was younger. Right. So... 
I just really enjoyed him. He just seemed like he's a cool guy and I enjoyed him. And I think cruise directors are important. It matters who your cruise director is on the ship because they're leading out the mega deck party. They're leading out right. the sail away party. They don't have the energy to do yeah, it. Yeah, if you it's don't not... have the energy and like the good vibe, then I'll tell you, you can't get us excited. Right, I'll tell you, but then, I mean, they're just not a party cruise line. Mm -hmm. The lady from the do Disney. That. No, don't do that because we love a lady cruise director. No, I'm saying, I'm not saying she was, you know, like I, she was just not. But I think Disney is different. That's what I'm saying. It was yeah. not. A, that's why I said it's not a party cruise line. So it's it's going to be a little different. It is a party. It, Disney is a party, but you I you know what you know. Line. Yeah, but Disney Disney is a party. It's a party. Okay, well, let's move on. <laughs> Stop it. All right. The activities, like the things to do on the ship, how do you, like do you feel like there were a good number of things to do? I think I think this go around was good for me because I experienced. See, Kyra is used to experiencing everything because she like when she goes on a cruise, she wants to experience. I want to do everything. Everything. All of it. I'll be tired. <laughs> I want it all. I it. have to take it <laughs> in stages, and I think this this go around, I got to experience the nightlife. Yes. A little bit more than. Being in the past because y'all know I be trying to go to bed. Know. Please pray for at this. Seven thirty. I be trying to get good hours of sleep. We're not doing that. We're not doing that no more. When when we do the group cruise, he's going to be up. I'm going to be up. I'm. We're gonna be together. Okay. Period. We're gonna be together. I'm gonna be there. But Aaron might be sleep. But we are gonna work on it, and he's going to be up late at night. Anyways. Okay, he's going to be up. But the activities were good. Um, the shows that, like Quest, I thought it was good. Like I said in the video, that's an acquired taste. If you are yeah, yeah, squeamish, yeah. well, I don't want to say squeamish, squeamish, but if, if you're sensitive. If you're sensitive, if you get offended easily. If you easily, get offended easily, mm -hmm. it's not for you. No. And don't don't feel bad about not, you know, not going to it mm -hmm. or not uh, interacting with that with that show. Yeah. If it's for you, it's for you. If it's not for you, it's not for you. There, you know, there's no, you know, harm in that. The karaoke was another thing that we got to experience mm -hmm. more of. Karaoke is always a good time. Right. We didn't go to any shows together. I went to a show by myself. Oh, the, the last Love and Marriage night. show we did go. Well, yeah, the Love and Marriage. I'm talking about like the playlist production right, right. which carnival just needs to switch it up they just okay. need a new uh, 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 show director we or something so, like that we need something new because disney of course fantastic norwegian shows fantastic it's like you're it's like a broadway right. show and like there's a storyline there's dialogue we gotta do something different with these shows yeah because i mean they're not bad shows the people but they i could went be i went to the show america rocks the singers were great the the singers on the valor were great it's just like the direction you're singing was just bad. a million songs and it's like okay yeah i'm enjoying this but like give us something with like a storyline and right. give us actors Drama. All right, so the ports. the ports. We went to Cozumel, Cozumel and Progresso. So let's start with Cozumel. Cozumel is always great. That's our home away from home. We honestly should get a summer home there. It's like not even joking. It's a good port. Like it it's is. a good port. Like it is. I can't even. There, there's nothing negative I can say about the Cozumel port. There's so much to do. I mean, there's there's it's truly so port. much to do in Cozumel. And I think every time we go back, we should try to do different things. Now, this this is um this is one of the negative aspects of it because it is such a popular port. Mm -hmm. If say a day you have oh. about five or six ships yes. that dock, yeah, space will be at a premium. Yes. So you like if you try and go to you know the the beach resorts, um like. You have to if your ship gets in at a good time. You have to make sure you get you there get early, there. yeah, uh, to make sure you can get some space. Mm -hmm. Like my uncle Lester, Aunt Wanda, they went and they went on a day when it was five ships on the island, mm -hmm. and they they went to Paradise, Paradise where Beach. we went to one and time. they couldn't even get in because there was so many people. Yeah, they just couldn't go, which so, which sucks. Right. Like. And there is a way to check how many ships are going to be in port. And I do that all the time. Whenever we cruise, I always look at the ports. I look at what ships are gonna be there, how many ships are gonna be there, just so I can kind of get an idea, like, 
are we gonna be able to just chill we don't have to deal with a lot of people or is it gonna be a ton of people right at this island on this day not um, just any not just you not know, just going Cosmo, to Cosmo, but any port. every port yeah uh, it would be good to do that just mm -hmm. to make sure the last place we went to was progresso. progresso well first let's talk about our our day and our experience okay getting off of the ship you have to get on the bus to get into the port and they have free shuttles because yeah. I, I know some people were uh, I, um a couple of people left comments and they said they didn't know that they had free shuttle. Yeah. They have free shuttle. They are free. To get to the actual port. It's ve they're very very intentional about making sure the signs are placed in the direction where you have to go through everybody <laughs> to get to where you're trying to go. Yes. Very intentional. So they put the beach signs up right where you have to walk through the middle of the shopping center. Of all the shopping. And there, I'm almost positive there are other ways you can go. Absolutely to other get ways. To the beach. Absolutely other ways. Yeah. I guess a negative aspect of it, if you don't like 1,000 people coming up to you 200 times yeah. a piece, asking you about getting something or purchasing something or, or letting them play a song for you. Yeah. Um, just stay on they the ship. Yeah, just stay on the ship. Just stay on the ship. But at the same time, mm -hmm. Progresso offers, you know, tours and all that stuff and, and, and for you to go and see the, the ruins the and all ruins. that stuff. I want to do that next time we go. Yes. Because I love history. If I can only get to the ruins from Progresso, then I might go back just right. to experience it. Right. And then after I experience it, I still probably wouldn't go back to Progresso after that. Because the beach was nice. A lot of people said from our video when they went that the beach did not look like how it looked in our video that it looked a lot better right. than what it looked like when they went so the beach is nice but people are coming up to you every two seconds right. so it's like i can't enjoy the beach i can't just sit here and lay and right. just enjoy it doesn't make for a relaxing time and i will say on the last cruise that i went with my friend we went to cosmo and progresso and we did an excursion where we went to kind of like a private, it was like a hotel basically. And they had their own <laughs> section of the beach where you could go and you could hang out and they had food and everything like that, which I would not recommend that excursion because the hotel was not nice. The food was not good. And the beach was like, it was like this big, like the space that we had. Um, and then there was a pool, but the pool was so small. It was just, I wouldn't recommend it, but we never got hassled there. So we were never asked if we wanted to buy things when we were there. So it might be worth it to look into going to a hotel, like a private hotel and staying on their private beach area. So that's something that you could look into because the beach was nice when we went. I cannot say that we would go back. We said we would go back in our video. For the ru I just want to see the ruins. For the ruins. Unless you're doing the ruins or something like that, no. Like, just stay on the ship. That's true. Enjoy being on the ship with less people and being right. able to be at the pool, being able to, you know, because they still serve lunch. They still serve right. everything. Like the ship runs, there are less activities during the time that you're at port because of course they expect for majority yeah, right. of people to be off the ship plenty of people stay on the ship at ports like if you've gone to a port a million times you're just not in the mood to get off you stay on i, I would say what well, your options i think yeah. it if it's your first time i think you should definitely go and experience it, yeah mm -hmm. and then you can judge for yourself whether you would go back or not and i think that's our list i think that's is there anything else no we're glad that you guys enjoyed our Valor series and there have been a lot of people that have said our videos have been helpful to them because right. they're getting ready to go on the Valor themselves within the next couple of months. So I'm I like, hope this helps for you. Yes, well. it's just so nice to hear that our videos were helpful and that you enjoyed them. And I also wanted to give a quick update on our group cruise. Just to put a little something in there, okay? Because I just wanna let you guys know, we're gonna get back to our live videos, but I just wanna put a quick cruise update in this video. So as of right now, we have like 24 people in our group. Mm -hmm. 
And that is amazing. Okay, I don't know if For we... our first group cruise. I don't know if yeah. we said this, but we set a goal to have 20 people right. on our group cruise. 20 people total. Like, by July, we have 20 people and that's it. That's who's cruising with us in August. It is... Uh, and I meant July of next year, not this year. It's July of this year, 2019. And we have over 20 people, right. which is amazing. Shout out to the real ones. Amazing. We, Thank you guys for oh the support, the love. And we cannot wait to cruise with oh each of you. Oh, my gosh. Because y'all going to see us at Cray Cray. We're going to have so much fun. We have to discuss a cutoff date for people to join our group cruise. Right. We have to discuss it. Um, that's not to say you can't go on this cruise on your own. You can absolutely do that because you know the dates, you know where we're going, the ship, whatever. You can't join our excursions or things like that because I'm gonna try to do like private oh, bookings. Okay, so you. you can't, that's why there has to be a cutoff date because we have to decide what we're going to do. And then we have, I, I have to find sense. a booking and then I have to get it booked so we can all pay, so we can have our excursions together. And so we can't just have people just joining in. That makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Like if we're going to the beach one day just to chill, if it just so happens you go to that beach too, then that's fine. But that's the perks of joining our group cruise is to be a part of our group and to hang out with us. And we're also going to do private things. We're eating at dinner together. We're you know and we're trying to get our merchandise together yeah, so we can be shirts we don't know when it's going to be but i'm thinking maybe the end of this year or like january february, february we have to talk about it because we like we have over 20 people already which is amazing i don't want this group to be super big i like do you yeah, because this is our first, guys. This is our first we, group we're still, we still have to learn how to do it yeah. most effectively and make sure that everybody has a good time. Yeah, we want everybody and we want to make time. sure that it's uh, want, special for everybody that yeah, is a part of the group. So yeah, I want we have it to, to be, learn. Yeah. yeah, I want it to be intimate to a certain extent. And I just want us to have a good time. So we don't want the group to be like 50 people, which is like, I feel like we could get there. Yeah, we which just is, take over. Ah, which is crazy but yeah we have to discuss a cutoff date soon guys so listen if you want to join us send me an email and get in this number before we cut this thing off okay right come join us we're gonna have such a good time i'm so excited just talking to the people that are already a part of our group we have our little facebook group and not everybody is a part Right. of the Facebook group that's going with us, which is fine. Some people just don't have Facebook. We have merchandise coming, or we still have to design, but we are finished picking a logo and we're working on our banner and all that stuff. And we have to redo our intro video to incorporate the things that we have been working on. And we hope that you guys will enjoy what yes. we've been working on because it's, it's been a strenuous process. So AK family, it's been real. We appreciate you for tuning in to our videos. We love you. Join our channel. Yep. Hit a like and then put something down in the comments. Put show some love. Put Subscribe. some Put some loving in the comments. Subscribe and join the family if you haven't already and let us know what else you want to see from our channel. We do have more videos coming on tips. Right. First time cruising tips. Cruising with carnival tips, specific tips for carnival cruises and you know just other videos in general some other videos not necessarily cruise related lifestyle vlogs like just our life and doing stuff so yeah peace